Canto 8 Chakras The 55th Aphorism To cognize the states of mind in relation to the physical body, it is necessary to understand the nervous system and the forces operating through it. The mind flows through the physical body, influencing its every action. The physical body, in turn, influences the mind. Conscious awareness of the sympathetic and central nervous system is essential to progress on the path of Raja Yoga. The 56th Aphorism There are two nervous structures, the cerebral spine, brain and spinal cord, and sympathetic or ganglionic. The sympathetic consists of a series of distinct nerve centers of ganglia extending on each side of the spinal column from the head to the sacral plexus. Raja Yoga practices demand a complete understanding of all that this aphorism refers to. There are many fine treatises on these subjects, but true insight comes from one's own chosen guru. The guru gives forth to the sishya what the sishya needs to know, when the knowing is needed to be known. Mystical knowledge comes at odd moments, in mysterious ways. Keep a watchful ear and an open mind the Guru's presence, for he speaks to your spiritual unfoldment, not to your external mind. It is essential to have an awakened Guru for Raja Yoga to begin, to continue and end in the, in the result of Jnana in the individual. The Guru takes away, closes the door forever on, the lower nature of anger, jealousy, resentment, fear, worries and doubts, allowing the soul in its natural state to soar. The 57th aphorism. The ganglia are called in Sanskrit chakras or discs. About 49 have been counted, of which there are seven principal ones. The nerve ganglia of the physical body on the astral plane are colorful spinning discs. Those below the muladhara spin from right to left and seven major ones from the muladhara up to the sasrara spin clockwise. The Raja Yogi, looking within himself to his third eye down through the physical body, sees these discs stacked one on top of another like phonograph records. They are not spinning out in front of him like airplane propellers, as often depicted by artists' conceptual illustrations. The 58th aphorism The seven principal chakras are 1. Sacral ganglion, Muladhara. 2. Prostatic ganglion, Swadhisthana. 3. Epigastric ganglion, Manipura. 4. Cardiac ganglion, Anahata. 5. Pharyngeal ganglion, Vishuddha. 6. Pineal ganglion, Agnya. 7. Pituitary ganglion, Sasrara. These chakras are the chakras of light. The seven below the Muladhara of the 21 are the chakras of darkness. Again, a Raja Yoga Guru is essential to maintain a consciousness in the chakras of light. Hence the invocations. Lead us from the unreal to the real, from darkness to light, from death to immortality, and awake, arise, and stop not until the goal is reached. The 59th Aphorism These chakras are guided in the unfoldment by the sympathetic system's three principal channels, called in Sanskrit nadis, meaning tubes. One, Shushmana passes from the base of the spine to the pituitary through the center of the spinal cord. 2. Pingala, corresponding to the right sympathetic. 3. Ida, corresponding to the left sympathetic. These are very important channels of consciousness and must be balanced at all times. Ida, Pingala, Yin Yang, Feminine, Masculine, Moon and Sun, Intuitive, Intellectual, Left Brain, Right Brain, Passive, Aggressive, for a constant intuiting of the divine 24 hours a day. Regular sadhana balances these forces. Ida and Pingala harmonizes the entire nerve system, stimulating the intuitive, creative area of the mind. The 60th aphorism. The Kundalini does not begin its activity through the Shushmana until the Ida, negative, and Pingala, positive, have preceded it by forming a positive and negative current along the spinal cord powerful enough to awaken the sixth chakra, Agnya. The first chakra then awakens in its entirety as the Kundalini force is drawn through the Shushmana, stimulating each chakra in turn, concluding with the enfoldment of the Sahasrara center in the brain. The Ida and Pingala currents through Raja Yoga practice begin a circular flow around the Shushmana, the Pingala flowing up 
and Ida flowing down, creating an electronic force field strong enough to stabilize the Shushmana to sustain the power of cosmic fire as the Kundalini uncoils and rises from the Muladhara chakra to the Agnya destination. The seals are broken, irreparably broken, as consciousness journeys up the spine within the Shushmana tube.